Hello and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry and Technology and Chemistry Lab videos. In this video, we will learn the possible questions on aniline point and prepare for the exam, whether it is theory paper or your lab exam. But before we start this video, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far. Let's begin with this video. What is aniline point? Or define aniline point. Aniline point is defined as the minimum temperature in degree centigrade at which an equimolar mixture of aniline and oil at equilibrium separates out. What do you understand by equimolar mixture? An equimolar mixture suggests that an equal volume of oil and aniline are taken in a tube and mixed. Here is a statement you have to state whether it is true or false. The minimum temperature at which the oil and aniline are completely miscible forming a homogeneous phase is called aniline point. State whether this is true or it is a false statement. This statement is true because we can define aniline point in an alternative way also where the minimum temperature at which the oil and aniline are completely miscible forming a single phase is recorded as aniline point. And this temperature also can be called as aniline point. What is the name of the apparatus employed for the determination of aniline point? The apparatus which is used for determination of aniline point is called aniline point apparatus. What does aniline point indicate? Aniline point is a measure of aromatic compounds present in the given oil. State the importance of determination of aniline point. Why the aniline point should be determined? Aniline point is a measure of aromaticity of the oil. That is the presence of aromatic compounds in it. And aromatic compounds are good solvents. They are capable of dissolving rubber and elastomers. So, if an oil containing high aromatic compounds is applied as a lubricant, it is capable of dissolving the rubber parts of the machinery. And the dissolved rubber in the oil makes it unsuitable for lubrication as the oil gets deteriorated due to the dissolved rubber in it. Therefore, a lubricating oil having high aromaticity should be discarded. It should not be employed for lubrication. A higher aniline point shows low aromaticity and vice versa. That is, a lower aniline point shows high aromaticity and a high aniline point shows low aromaticity. Therefore, a high aniline point of the oil is desirable because such an oil will have low aromatic compounds present in it. What does low aniline point of the oil indicates? A low aniline point of the oil is an indication of Higher aromaticity in it. Can an oil with low aniline point be used in machines with rubber parts? No. 
such an oil will have higher aromaticity and therefore it cannot be used in the machines with rubber parts it will lead to the dissolution of the parts of the machines which are made up of rubber what will be the consequences of using an oil with low aniline point a low aniline point if used in machines having rubber parts will lead to first deterioration of the lubricant due to the dissolution of rubber parts in it and second it will decrease the efficiency and life span of the machinery because the parts of the machinery will itself get dissolved and therefore its life span will be decreased what are the units in which aniline point can be expressed aniline point is temperature so it is expressed either in degree centigrade or in degree fahrenheit but usually we take the thermometer which shows in degree centigrade what are the parts of aniline point apparatus the apparatus consists of a test tube made up of pyrex or corning glass which is around 15 cm long and 2.5 cm wide an electrically operated stirrer an aniline point thermometer an outer jacket to cool the test tube and an electric heater if the oil aniline mixture does not get mixed to form a single phase at room temperature heating is required explain the working of aniline point apparatus using a labeled diagram here is the labeled diagram which is neatly drawn we can explain the working of the apparatus easily with the help of this figure so this is the test tube made up of corning glass or pyrex glass in which we have taken the oil so first the test tube is cleaned thoroughly and it is dried then 20 ml of each aniline and oil is taken in this test tube it is closed with the help of a cork aniline point thermometer is inserted in it with the help of this cork and an electrical stirrer is also introduced in the oil the liquid is then stirred and if the liquid is not completely miscible at room temperature the heating is started at a controlled rate the temperature at which the two liquids are completely miscible and forms a single phase that is a homogeneous phase this temperature is recorded as aniline point once the temperature is recorded as aniline point the stirring of the mixture is stopped and the liquid is allowed to cool putting it in a cooling bath containing non aqueous solvents so this is the cooling bath in which we will keep the liquid which is now become homogeneous the temperature at which the two layers will just separate is also recorded as aniline point so in this way we can record the aniline point first when the li liquid layers are getting mixed completely to form a homogeneous layer and secondly when the layers are just separated to form two separate layers what precautions should be taken while determining the aniline point precautions that should be taken while performing this experiment are the apparatus should be dried properly there should not be any moisture because it will adversely affect the results the aniline which is used should be pure and dried the cold and hot baths which are used for cooling and heating should be strictly filled with non aqueous non volatile and transparent liquids as aniline is highly toxic so it should be handled with utmost care using hand gloves stirring should be done in a way that bubble formation should be avoided if the expected aniline point is below the dew point the space above the mixture in the test tube 
should be filled with nitrogen. Can you state the differences between cloud and pore point and aniline point? The cloud and pore point and aniline point can be differentiated and I have stated the points here in this table. So the cloud and pore point is a measure of percentage of paraffins present in the oil whereas aniline point is a measure of percentage of aromatic compounds present in the oil. In case of cloud and pore point, a low cloud and pore point is desirable because it suggests low percentage of paraffins which is desirable. Whereas in case of aniline point, a high aniline point of the oil is desirable because a low aniline point suggests high percentage of aromatic compounds in the oil which is undesirable. So in case of cloud and pore point, low cloud and pore point is desirable but in case of aniline point, high aniline point is desirable. The cloud point is that minimum temperature where the oil becomes cloudy or hazy and with the approach of pore point, the oil solidifies and stops flowing losing its lubricating property completely. Aniline point is that minimum temperature at which an equimolar mixture of aniline and oil at equilibrium just separates. In case of cloud and pore point, it is a measure of paraffins. And the paraffins are not desirable in the oil because they get precipitated forming waxes. And they are the ones which makes the oil losing its fluidity resulting into clogging of the machine and its parts. In case of aniline point, it is a measure of aromaticity. That is the presence of aromatic compounds in the oil. And these aromatic compounds, if they are present in the oil, because they are good solvents, they lead to dissolution of rubber and rubber parts or elastomers with which some parts of the machines are made up of. Which will dissolve the rubber into it and as a result of dissolution of rubber, the lubricating oil will lose its lubricating property, it will get deteriorated. Also, it will affect the lifespan and efficiency of the machine. So, these were some important questions that we have discussed in the video. If you have any more queries, don't hesitate to ask me by putting them in the comment box. Thanks for watching this video. Press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself.